Angular and Astro are two of my favorite frameworks. The first one is a well-known framework to build complex and enterprise applications. Astro is usually used to create fast and SEO-friendly websites. As many other front-end frameworks, Astro supports the concept of components, but unlike others, its templates are not reactive. It means that even if it supports JSX-like templates, you cannot easily add interactivity directly in the template by adding event listeners to your elements. There are two solutions for this. Use vanilla JavaScript or use Astro Island architectures. You can think to Island just like a part of your Astro page that can contain a component bit with more or less any modern front-end framework such as React, Angular, Vue, Lit, Svelte, or whatever. In this video, I wanna show you how you can easily add Angular components to any Astro project by using the amazing Analog.js integration plugin created by Brandon Roberts. First, we can create a new Astro project with npm create Astro at latest. We can define the project name. I select an empty template. So install all the dependencies and we can now choose TypeScript as primary language. We can now open the project in editor and run the project with npm run dev to see the project preview. Now we come back to the terminal and we install the analog JS plugin that allow us to use Angular inside our Astro project. The installation requires some time because as you can see, it must install several packages. After the installation, the CLI notifies us that the Astro config file will be modified adding the Analog.js integration plugin. And in fact, here you can see the update. The next step is the creation of a new TypeScript configuration file, and we can copy the content from the Analog.js website. Okay, now we are ready to create our first Angular component. An Angular component is defined by creating a class decorated with a component decorator. We assign a selector name and set the standalone property to true. That is an option available from Angular 14. If you are interested on this topic, you can find other videos about standalone components on my YouTube channel. Anyway, now we can create an inline template and a counter property that will be updated each time the button is clicked. Finally, we can open an Astro component, in this case index.astro, that represents the default root of our application. And we can use the Angular component inside it by using the class name instead of the selector as we usually do in a real Angular application. So we just use it inside the Astro template and of course we need to import the component in the top of the file inside the three dashes as required by Astro. Now we run the application with npm run dev and you can see that the component is visible, but the counter doesn't work. The reason is that now we only see the component as a static HTML template, and no JavaScript is required to the page in order to work. But if we want to add interactivity in our page, in our component, we need to instruct Astro on the strategy to use to hydrate the JavaScript code needed to work. By using the client load directive, we are saying that we want to load the JavaScript when the page is loaded, and in fact, now it works fine. Since the development mode is not optimized, and I want to show you how the hydration works behind the scene, I build the application by running npm run build. And we can also run the build on the browser with npm run preview. As you can see, when the page is loaded, the only necessary JavaScript is the Angular core and our Angular component, and nothing more. Okay. Let me add some line break elements so we move the counter component to the bottom of the page. And in this way, it won't be visible when the page is loaded, but we need to scroll. We can now set the client directive to visible. And if we create another build and run the preview, we can see that when the page is loaded, there is no JavaScript loaded anymore. We have to scroll the page and the JavaScript will be hydrated only when the component becomes visible. Another interesting Astro feature is that we can use Island in MDX files too. So we can mix in the same file markdown syntax and UI components built in Angular, React, Lit, Svelte, Vue, or something else. First, we need to install the MDX Astro integration that will be added to the Astro configuration file. We add some content inside the file, and since Astro router is based on file system, this markdown will become a new root. In fact, we can open the browser and check if the demo roots exist. It seems fine. And now we can add some properties to the markdown and use our Angular component just as we did before. And of course, we can now add our content inside this file mixing markdown syntax and our UI interactive component built in Angular, React or in other frameworks.
That's all for now and if you like the video remember to subscribe the channel to support me and you can also follow me on LinkedIn where I often post content on the front end world.